Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang ulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online Buhay Online Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami Si J. C. Bautista Hello, hello! Happy Tuesday everyone! I'm so sorry I was not here yesterday. I missed you guys. I had to take care of some uh, medical issues and uh, appointments. But andito na po ako, nagbabalik sa inyo on a Tuesday morning. On a hot Tuesday morning. Bakit ba? For some reason po uminit, ano? Uminit ang panahon. Uh, Nag-i-enjoy na tayo ng malamig na na spell. But all of a sudden, mainit na naman. But anyway, but of course, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new life. Brand new promising things to look forward to, right? Pero on a, on a sad note po, no? Uh, hindi ko talaga po ma ma-absorb kahit ngayon yung pagka the passing away of a very dear friend of mine, a very dear uh, sister para ko na tong talagang kapamilya our lives in America when we used to live there uh, itong aming pamilya the condolence to the family condolences and sympathies to the family of uh, Camille Rodriguez Arroyo siya po ang, ang nag-iisa, ah hindi po actually ang, ang, ang uh, anak ni Tita Celia Rodriguez. She passed away po sa America nung Thanksgiving. It's very unfortunate. But uh, prayers and sympathies to the family po. Lalo na po kay Tita E. Uh, rest in peace, my dear. So uh, I see some hearts floating by and some thumbs up, uh, but I don't see the names. Welcome to the show. Maraming maraming salamat po for joining me. Also, I'd like to greet happy birthday to Joy Pahati in America then my friend in America who lives in Las Vegas. Happy happy birthday, Joy. And uh, uh, ano po, no? Ayan na yung Omicron virus naman na ngayon na, na, nag, na nag-mutate galing sa South Africa. This is what we have to deal with naman again. Anyway, uh, the news has it, okay, magla-lockdown mo ulit ang America. Well, I think ang iniintindi ngayon ng Amerika ay yung mga booster shots na actually dito sa atin meron na nag-booster shots. Some of my, several of my friends have already gotten their booster shots. shots. Meron pa lang palang nagbibigay ng booster shots. Ano ah? Uh, what do you call this? Uh, no, uh, what do you call this? Through, drive-thru. Drive-thru shots. I saw my my friend posted on Facebook yesterday. Galing sila sa Boracay but on the way home, I don't know, but dito sa Manila yun, meron ng booster shots. Okay, so, uh, intindihin na natin kumuha ng booster shots, no? Tinatapos pa lang ngayon yung mga vaccine. Yesterday at the mall here at Pampanga in Walter Mart, punong-puno po kahapon yung mall ng mga kabataan, right? Those kids already from 12 years old yata, uh, up to 12 years old were being vaccinated at ang dami po nila. So, tinatapos pa lang yan. Hello there, Miss Cynthia Buste. Good morning. I'm good. We're watching from Santa Ana, Manila, si Miss Cynthia Buste. Hello, hello po. You're home po for vacation. Uh, meaning home from, 
Dati ba, were you from abroad? I forgot. I'm so sorry, Cynthia. You're home. Sabi mo, I'm home from vacation. Where did you come from? Saan ka nang galing, Cynthia? I forgot. Because uh, basta alam ko nang nakikita ka tao na nagsasuporta dito. Uh, hindi ko maalala if you were from abroad. But anyway, welcome back. If, or uh, welcome home. And enjoy your vacation, okay? Dito sa ating pandemya pa naman, ang mga biyahe kasi ngayon open na. Ah, from Kuwait! Oh my gosh! So, naka-uwi ka na ngayon for vacation. So, it's only vacation, babalik ka pa. Wala bang restriction na ngayon doon eh. Kung kumakawalat na naman ang Omicron virus. Sa Amerika rin kasi open na. Marami, maraming open ang not to travel eh. Kasi, kaya lang. Oh, do you know that yung first case ng Omicron Uh, virus na yan dito dito daw sa Pampanga na discover oh my gosh that, that my sister according to my sister okay the first case was from a from a person that came from Hong Kong doon sa Hong Kong nakuha yung Omicron virus ano ba yan kasi nga ang travel ay okay na pero maingat pa rin tayo nakakatakot ano ba yan and they're saying that this is more uh, more contagious right but anyway Libalita. Okay, una-una natin to. Okay, look at this news from uh, look at this news from uh, dito sa Philippines po ito, no? Kita nyo yan? Okay. SNR informs NPC of cyber attack. Okay? Okay? Ayan to. This is real. Alright. Let's see what's going on about this. Okay? Nahack yata ang system ng SNR. SNR membership shopping posted on their Facebook page a statement that they have been a victim of a cyber attack but assured its members, myself included, that no financial information has been uh, compromised and is now coordinating with the National Privacy Commission. Okay? Okay? Ang SNR yan. Okay? Nakapag re-enlist na po ang Kuwait. Mataas po ang ang herd immunity percentage na na-attain ng Kuwait. Very good. Good for you. Good for them, no? Mabuti naman. So, sa Kuwait, ang taas daw ng herd immunity. Anong percentage kaya? Sa Amerika kasi, hindi nila na, hindi natin na, na hindi nila na achieve yung 70% na tinarget ng in, her, ma herd immunity. Eh. 28% na kasi mga anti-vaxxers na yan. But anyway, right? Uh, as I was saying, Uh, itong SNR na hacked out. So, they sent a letter, okay, to everyone, okay, because, ayan, no, na hack sila, right? So, they sent a letter to everyone. At ito yung sulat, okay, I will show you. Here is the letter that they wrote, okay? Ayan, ito yung mukha ko. Okay, I'll just cover my face for a while, all right? This is a letter that they wrote right, for the people, right? Dear member, as part of our commitment to deliver the best possible member service, we would like to inform you that SNR, SNR recently became the target of a cyber attack. At least in inform naman yung mga tao, no? Our team acted immediately and decisively to implement our cybersecurity protocols that enabled us to resume our system operations. Our business was not affected, And we continue to deliver a convenient and fulfilling member-customer shopping experience, okay? Although there have been numerous reports of cyber attacks in the Philippines, we strongly condemn these criminal acts perpetrated against private companies. And we are treating this matter very seriously. Kasi nga talaga, di ba? Amazon, Netflix, uh, pati SM yata, di ba? Tinatarget ngayon ng mga... Fake, ano ito, mga cyber, cyber, uh, cyber criminals na ito. Ano ba yung cyber? Cyber criminals na ito, right? Okay, so uh, we, we have already reported the matter to the National Privacy Commission, okay, the NPC, okay? Limited membership data which are confined to contact information may have been compromised. Contact information, oh my God. However, all our members' credit card and other financial information are safe and secured as these data are protected by encryption measures as required by regulation. Okay? Press assured that we are implementing measures to further reinforce the security of the IT system. 
if you have any questions or concerns about this matter, okay, you may contact them at membership.snrsshopping at gmail.com. Once again, the email address is membership.snrshopping at gmail.com. Okay? O, oh, sabi pa ni Cynthia, as of August ay naka-70% na po ang Kuwait at ongoing na po ang pagbibigay ng booster shot. Sana all, right? Sana all. Sabi ng friend ko, China oil. China oil yung pala, sana oil din. Okay? Very good. So, that's nice to know, Cynthia. Good job. Very good. Uh, okay. Um, teka, tanggalin ko na to sa mukha ko to. Alright. So, yan ang sulat ng SNR that they gave a uh, sent you know to all the members to reassure them that their financial information is protected credit card numbers and all pero pa paano mo masasabi na protect yun kung ang na compromise yung ano contact information eh doon nakalagay sa contact information yun di ba credit card information mo but how can you say how can you say na na segregate yung parang hindi ko yata ano masyado yun na Paano mo na nalaman na nakita yung contact information ng members pero yung hindi yung credit card information? Eh, nakalagay din yun lahat sa ano, di ba? Information ng members. Well, SNR. Talaga ba? Sana, sana. Okay? Alright. So, another news uh, here in the Philippines, okay? Another news is NCR will stay under alert level number 2. From December 1 to December 15, the government's pandemic tax for, uh, task force has decided to retain the classification of Metro Manila or the National Capital Region under alert level number two amidst concerns over the new Omicron variant of the coronavirus. Okay. Okay, so... The Interagency Task Force, or the IATF, approved on Monday, last Monday, November 29, the recommendation, oh, yesterday pala, to place the NCR under alert number two. Okay, ito ang sinabi sa isang statement ng kahapon from Cabinet Secretary and Acting Presidential Spokesperson Carlo Nograles. Okay, the alert level shall take effect from December 1, to December 15, 2021, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. NCR has been under alert level 2, the second most lenient classification under the alert level system since November 5. The hope of the business sector was the further the escalation of protocols in the metropolis to an alert level to either, decide, uh, either by December 1, 2021, or January 1, 2022. Okay? So, ayan, no? Na-retain ang, ang, ang level, ang level 2 alert is retained in NCR and uh, NCR and uh, Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. Metro Manila. Okay, more, uh, okay, so that's the breaking news, all right. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Okay, I hope I'm broadcasting fine. Really. Okay, so there, no? So, um, <coughs> we're going to talk about today, okay, uh, before I talk about, uh, Something naman sa lifestyle. Alamin pa pala natin, yun namang news around the world. Okay? Regarding the coronavirus, okay, um, in America, right, ito yun na naman yung fear ng impending lockdown, right? Ilang bukas sara, bukas sara na economy ng America. But, sabi ni President Biden sa America, no Omicron lockdowns, all right? But he says everyone needs a booster shot, right? In New York, recently, okay, uh, the Omicron virus is a cause for concern, but not cause for a panic. Ito ang sabi ng presidente ng America, Joe Biden. Sinabi niya kahapon in, a, in an address 
on the new coronavirus variant from South Africa that led countries around the world to step up restrictions again. Di ba? Kakaisa pa lang ng restrictions ay may bagong virus na naman. Okay? Yan ang kalungkutan yan, right? So, uh, so ang sabi ni Biden, hindi, hindi magla-lockdown. Ang gagawin lang, of course, ay uh, mag-booster shots. Sa Japan naman, because of this new Omicron, okay, we're, 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 we're talking about news around the globe. In Japan, it's, it's suspending entry of overseas travelers due to Omicron. Japan will suspend entry into the country by foreign nationals starting today, citing the emergence of the Omicron variant of COVID-19. All right. And then, pa, sino pang maghihigpet? <coughs> Excuse me. Philippines and Vietnam and others tighten travel rules over Omicron. Okay. The Philippines and Indonesia have hurriedly imposed travel bans and other restrictions in response to concerns over the spread of the new COVID-19 variant, Omicron. Okay, so yun. Pati ang Pilipinas ay at saka Indonesia. Singapore and Malaysia naman. Singapore, Malaysia na airline Airlines open amid Omicron COVID fears. Sa Singapore at Malaysia naman, bukas. Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, they opened land and air lanes for vaccinated travelers yesterday. A landmark moment for citizens separated from loved ones, but overshadowed by fears of a new coronavirus strain that emerged last week. Okay? Pero, yan. Sa Malaysia at Singapore po ay bukas ang ports. Pwede pumunta ron ang, ang fully vaccinated na mga nilalang. Alright? Okay. So, um, Biden told receiving clear data on immigrant virus to take two weeks, okay? Uh, the top U.S. infectious disease official, Dr. Anthony Fauci, told President Joe Biden on Sunday it will take about two weeks to have definite information on the new corona variant, Omicron, that has sparked new travel restrictions and shaken financial markets. Natakot na naman ulit ang ekonomiya. Biden returning to Washington following the Thanksgiving holiday weekend was briefed in person by his coronavirus response team on Sunday afternoon as officials expect the new variant to reach the United States despite an impending ban on travelers from Southern Africa where it was first detected. Okay, Fossey said he believes existing vaccines are likely to provide a degree of protection against severe cases of COVID. And officials reiterated their, their recommendation for vaccinated Americans to get booster shots according to a readout of the briefing. Okay? Sabi ni Biden, si Biden was due to update the public on the new variant and the U.S. response on Monday. The White House said, Omicron, which was the first, which was uh, una una tong nakita sa South, Southern Africa, has been confirmed na rin ang, ang presence ng Omicron virus in Australia, Belgium, Botswana, Britain, Denmark, Germany, Hong Kong, Israel, Italy, the Netherlands, France, South Africa, and the United States neighbor to the north, Canada. Oh my God. And dito nga sa Pilipinas daw, two days ago, naspatan na yung may, uh, may Omicron virus. Galing nga sa Hong Kong daw yung tao. Oh my God. Earlier on Sunday, Fossey told NBC adding the flight curbs would give them more time to gather information and weigh possible action. Okay? If it clearly is giving indication that it has the capability of transmitting rapidly, that's the thing that's causing us now to be concerned and alarmed. Okay? Its appearance in the United States, where 30% of the population has not received a single dose of vaccine, Hala, dumaas na pala. Ilang araw ago, 28% lang ang walang vaccine. Ngayon, 30% na. Could threaten to undermine the nation's recovery nearly two years after COVID-19 emergence and further pressure local healthcare systems already taxed by the recent Delta variant. Okay? Ay, nako. 
Yan na nga kasi, yung mga anti-vaxxers na yan, up to now, they're still at it, okay? Rising cases as colder weather forces more people indoors has also caused some hospital systems and United States, including New York, to declare emergencies. So far, nearly 782,000 people have died in the United States. Oh my goodness. That is the number of people that have died. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. So, uh, 780,000 people have died from the coronavirus. Okay. That's really sad. And now, kumakalat na namang, mas mabilis daw kakalat pa itong Omicron virus na to, right? So, 782,000 people have died in the United States from COVID-19 since early 2020. And I have two of my friends in America who have died from COVID and two, two over here. Actually, six people that I know or that I know well have, have died from coronavirus. And it's, it's not a joke. And like I said in my previous episodes, I'm a survivor of COVID-19. My whole family is here in Pampanga, in my household. We all had COVID already and survived, thank God. Siguro ko hindi, you know, hindi ba ko nado, or, you know, we, we, we might have had it really bad. But, um, well, it was pretty bad to some extent, but not as bad as getting needing to be intubated, right? So, and we're well now, okay? So, the United States is joining other nations in seeking to block transmission by imposing travel restrictions. So, he put that again. Lang ngayon, free for all sa America pumunta, as long as you're doubly vaccinated, you can come to America without any quarantine, okay? Pero ngayon, he put that na naman ito ulit. Beginning at 12.01 a.m. yesterday, it will bar entry of nearly all foreign nationals who have been in any of the eight Southern African countries within the last 14 days and has warned Americans against traveling to those nations, okay? U.S. citizens and lawful U.S. permanent residents who have traveled to the countries will still be able to enter the United States and no new screening or tracing requirements have been introduced. Oh, pwede pa pala. So, pwede pa rin pumunta. Wala bang quarantine at walang ano, right? Flights by Delta Airlines and United Airlines have continued from South Africa to the United States since the variant was discovered. Fossey and other top officials said the sudden burst of cases made Omicron worse, worrisome and it reminded un, uh, unclear, uh, uh, and it is unclear how current vaccines or therapeutics could be impacted. So, hindi pa kasi, tinetest pa lang ito, sabi nga ni Fossey. Hindi pa sigurado kung anong mga vaccine ang, ang pwedeng uh, maging mabisa against this Omicron, right? Or, or anything therapeutic medicine, so, right? We need more data there before we can say confidently that this is not a severe version of the virus. But we should find that out in the next couple of weeks. So, antay-antay lang tayo sa... sa so resulta nitong clinical trials regarding the new uh, Omicron virus, okay? We need more data, sabi nga nila, before we can say confidently that, it is, that this is not a serious matter. But we should find that out in the next couple of weeks. Outgoing National Institutes of Health Director Francis Collins said uh, in Fox News last Sunday, vaccine makers Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna have said they expect more information soon, all right? We have to go through a couple of weeks of uncertainty. Sabi ng Moderna Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Paul Burton, sinabi niya sa CNN na ang Omicron's transmissibility and severity were also still unknown at this time, okay? Unknown pa, so along with current vaccine effectiveness and against it, okay? So wala pa tayong masyadong kaalaman tungkol sa Omicron virus na ito. Inaalam pa lang, okay? Fossey pressed Americans to continue to get COVID-19 vaccines and boosters while experts evaluate Omicron. This is a clarion call to get vaccinated. He told. The United States has recorded 1.1 million new COVID-19 
19 cases in the last 14 days. Oh my gosh. Up to 9% from their prior weeks. Reuters data shows, Reuters data shows with Michigan and Minnesota leading the nation in the new cases based on infections per 100,000 residents. The proportion of COVID-19 tests coming back positive in New York had doubled since last month to 4 to 23%, underscoring the need for vaccinations, Governor Kathy Hopeful said in a statement. Okay. Cases are rising through New York State and the new Omicron variant poses a very real threat to the progress we've made. The variant could cast a pull over the rest of the U.S. holiday season and potentially impact companies' return to office plans. Okay? Yeah, nga, yung mga nag-work from home na excited nang pumasok, baka ma-push back na naman ito because of this Omicron virus. Okay? Uh, ito na nga, sinabi ng World Health Sinabi ng World Health Organization, re still regarding the Omicron variant na ito, the World Health Organization says it's not yet clear if Omicron causes more severe diseases, right? Hindi pa ito na-proprove. So yung mga nagkakalat ng ganun na masyadong grabe itong effect ng Omicron virus, you know, mas madali kang ma mahawaan. Okay, please. The World Health Organization, or the WHO, says it's not yet clear whether the Omicron virus causes more severe diseases, okay? In Geneva, the world from Geneva, this news is from Geneva, the, the, the World Health Organization, or WHO, said on Sunday that it is not yet clear if the new Omicron coronavirus variant is more transmissible compared to other SARS-CoV-2 variants or if it causes more severe disease. Preliminary data suggests that, are in, that there are mga increasing rates of hospitalization dumami ang na-hospital sa South Africa. Pero they were thinking that maybe this is due to the increasing overall numbers of people being infected rather than result of specific infection with micron. Hindi mo pa nila segregate yung ano itong, kung itong ilang na-affect nitong bagong virus. However, in a statement, the agency reiterated that preliminary evidence suggests that there may be a higher risk of reinfection from the variant. Okay? The World Health Organization said it is working with technical experts to understand the potential impact of the variant on existing countermeasures against COVID-19, including the vaccines. There is currently no information to suggest that symptoms associated with Omicron are different from those from the variants. As it is na nga, it's very hard not to determine, right? Initial reported infections were among university students. Oh my gosh. Younger individuals who tend to have more mild disease. But understanding the level of severity of the Omicron variant will take a few days to a week. Okay? Okay, in the meantime, PCR tests continue to detect infection with Omicron also, which was first detected in South Africa earlier this month. And studies are ongoing to determine whether there is any impact on rapid antigen detection tests. Okay? So around the globe naman, ulit more countries. Okay? Indonesia bans arrivals from eight African countries due to Omicron virus. So sorry. This was nothing personal. Okay? Their law mandates it, okay, in uh, Malaysia or Indonesia. Indonesia will ban the entry of travelers who had been in eight African countries and extend quarantine times for all arrivals to curb the spread of the new Omicron coronavirus variant. Officials said on Sunday, the ban extends, okay, please, Makinig, the ban extends to people. To people who have been in eight African countries. Yan ha? So sa Jakarta, hindi kayo tatanggapin kung kayo nanggaling sa eight African countries and extend quarantine times for all arrivals to curb the spread of the new Omicron Corona variant. Okay? Okay, the, the ban extends to people who have been to, okay, ito yung mga lugar na, na tabu, okay, na panggalingan right now. 
is South Africa, number one answer. Botswana, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Mozambique, Eswatini, or Nigeria in the past 14 days. Okay, kung nakapagdalaw kayo or nakadaang kayo sa, gan sa mga ganitong uh, area ng past 14 days, di ba? May tatanggapin, alright? Delegates attending G20 meetings, which Indonesia chairs, will not be affected. Okay. All right. Okay, so those those uh, cities that I mentioned are the ones that are not going to be allowed to America when they come because they're in a highly infectious area, I guess. The ban extends to people, you see, who had been to South Africa, Bosnia, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Mozambique, Estonia, or Nigeria. Yan yung mga countries, okay? Depending, delegates attending G20 meetings, which Indonesia chairs will not be affected, okay? The restriction takes effect. It took effect already last Monday and will be evaluated every two weeks since ministers, uh, uh, senior minister told the conference, okay? Omicron has agreed, to, uh, has spread to more countries. So to respond to these developments, today the government wants to carry out the following policies. Coordinating Minister Luhot Panjaitan. Alright? So, yun ang sinabi niya. Siya ang nagsabi ng tungkol sa uh, spread ng Omicron virus. Okay? Indonesian citizens entering Indonesia from the listed African countries and Hong Kong will also now have to quarantine in designated facilities for 14 days. Yan ang masakit dun eh. Bakasyon mo one month lang, two weeks ako, quarantine ka. Tulis ka magbabak siya sa kwarto, mag-order ng ano, take out. Hindi ka naman makikita ng ibang tao, right? So, so Indonesian citizens entering Indonesia from the listed African countries and Hong Kong will also now have to quarantine in designated facilities for 14 days. Okay? So, so all other travelers entering the country will have to quarantine for, for seven days. Okay? Uh, seven days. Compared to three days previously. So, dinagdagan na naman, okay, <coughs> ang restriction ng travel sa America. <coughs> One week na ulit, okay, hindi na three days. The variant, okay, uh, all other travelers entering the country will have to quarantine for seven days compared to three days previously. The variant, identified first in South Africa, but also detected in Europe and Asia, is potentially more contagious than previous variants. Although experts do not know yet if it will cause more or less more severe uh, effects sa atin. So, hindi pa sigurado eh, okay? Oh, more on the COVID. Sa Australia, it confirms two cases of Omicron virus, okay? Ito ang sa Australia, where my kuya and his family lives, okay? Australia confirmed yeah, uh, on Sunday na dalawang tao daw arriving from South Africa over the weekend had tested positive for the Omicron coronavirus variant, adding to a growing number of countries fighting in the highly infectious strain. Oh well, sabi ng mga officials sa North South Wales, the most pop populous state, yan ang pinakamaraming taong sa Australia, said both passengers had arrived in the state capital. Sydney on Saturday evening and tested positive for COVID-19 late that night before genome sequencing confirmed that the Omicron variant was the one that, you know, got them. All right, so um, Australia joins Britain, Germany, and Italy in detecting Omicron cases over the weekend as more nations impose restrictions on travel from South Africa. Both people were sim asymptomatic, fully vaccinated, and in quarantine, said NSW Health, uh, Health Department. Another 12 passengers from South Africa were also in 14 days of hotel quarantine, which would have around 260 other passengers and air crew have been detected. Okay? Close contacts will be contacted regularly pag kayo ay nag-test positive, no? And compliance checks will be undertaken. Itong sinabi ng health department. Australia imposed new restrictions on Saturday 
and people have been to nine South African countries. Okay, we already know those countries. Okay, very, very sad. Okay. All right, so that's the news around the globe, okay, regarding the coronavirus, which is still so very real in our lives, right? Almost coming up to two years, my goodness. Okay, all right. There's some news about Australia to introduce new laws to force media platforms to unmask online troll. Kung nga naman, ilabas na yung mga yan, okay? Na na, okay? Here it is. Here's the bit of news that I was talking about, okay? Australia to introduce lo new laws to force media platforms to unmask online trolls. Ano ba ang sabihin ito? Okay, so let's read about it, okay? Australia to introduce new laws to force media platforms to unmask the online trolls. I don't, don't think they can do that, right? Australia will introduce legislation to make social media giants provide details of users who post defamatory comments. Yahoo! Okay, very good. Prime Minister Scott Morrison said on Sunday. Okay, the government has been looking at the extent of responsibility of platforms, kagaya ng Twitter, Facebook, di ba? Inimbestigahan talaga under the microscope ngayon tong ano, mga platform na ito eh, lalo-lalo na kasi nangyari sa Facebook, right? When nagbibirong whistleblower, hanggang ngayon, na-investigate pa rin, they will be liable for that. And tamang-tama naman, nung nangyayari yun, pinalitan ni, ni Mark Zuckerberg ang kanyang company, hindi na siya Facebook, kundi Metaverse, all right? Because he wants to create a, a virtual universe, right? Pasensya na ang likot. I'm restless po kasi talaga. I think I have ADHD because I cannot keep still. Okay? So, Looking back, right, the government has been looking at the extent of the responsibility of platforms such as Twitter and Facebook for defamatory material published on their sites and, and comes after the country's highest court ruled uh, that publishers can be held liable for public comments on online forums. Ah, but niyo, okay? The ruling caused some news companies like CNN to deny Australians access to their Facebook pages. Hala, okay? The online world should not be a wild west where bots and bigots and trolls and others are anonymously going around and can harm people. Ito sinabi ni Morrison. Okay? Sa isang televised briefing, the uh, press. Okay? This is not what can happen in the real world and there's no case for it to be able to happen in the digital world. Kasi yung mga digital platforms, the online companies must have proper processes to enable to take down uh, this content. They have created the space and they need to make it safe. And if they won't, we will make them, okay, through laws such as this, okay? Kasi yung mga troll eh. Hmm. Okay, so let's see this. This is a unique challenge. Reinventing business strategies with subscriptions and apps. This is a little different, okay? We can tackle this uh, in the next coming days, okay? In the meantime, let's uh, let's talk about all the, the nice things. Okay. Let me just get the graphic. Then we can proceed, okay? There you go. But there's already the rules. All right. So, okay. Now we're going to talk about. Uh, let me get my background. So, yeah, Australia to introduce new laws to force media platforms to unmask 
online trolls. Okay. Tignan natin kung paano to. Okay. Alright. Yun na nga yun. So, yung mga para oops. The online world should not be a wild west. Ayun ang ibig sabihin, no? So, para maglaban-laban between bots and people, okay? Ang mga digital platforms ngayon, okay, kailangan magprotektahan yung mga members nyo. So, and, and, so this is what uh, Australia is going to do and of course what we should all do because uh, under fire nga ngayon yung mga social media platforms, right? So, please, uh, these companies, ayos-ayusin nyo na talaga yung mga ano, filters nyo, your censorship because you are now under the microscope, right? Everybody's looking at you guys to see how you're going to improve that, okay? Okay. Hmm. Ano pang pa balita natin? Well, tungkol sa trabaho, okay, madami nagtatanong talaga dyan regarding sa trabaho na mga gagawa natin itong pandemya na ito, alright? But, my take is, here's ano, uh, something that, that I want to tell you about jobs in this pandemic, okay? Okay? Um, Remember, we had already given a segment on this before, but then it's not to say na we cannot talk about it again kasi importante talaga ang mga trabaho hinahanap na yung panahon na to. Hi there, Jake! Hi there, Jake! Hello, hello! Hearts to you too, okay? Pandemic pushes the search for remote jobs up to 460% naman kasi, di ba? Marami talaga nang hanap ng trabaho. Job searches kasi for remote work is up to 460%. Interest has tapered but remained elevated even as the United States' economy opened, suggesting the trend has staying power. Okay? Interest in working remotely has surged during this pandemic, of course, and is lingering even as the economy reopens. This is according to a new study. Okay? The share of online job searches for remote positions jumped 460% in the two years between June 19 and June 2021, according to an analyst published Monday by job site Glassdoor. The bump isn't siloed in a handful of occupations, but it is widespread across a host of different jobs. Ang interest ng mga tao na mag-remote work or work from home appears to have leveled off in recent months, but remains elevated, according to Glassdoor data, even as health restrictions lift and Lift and businesses reopen their physical space for in-person work. You know, a lot of companies have now resorted to hybrid working. Hybrid meaning is a mixture, no, uh, of uh, working from home and working at school. So you can actually balance that out. You know, okay. Kaniyan na sabi natin na nahak ni NCR, and we also talked about. Yan na nga, ulit-ulit naman itong level. Hold on. So, yeah, a lot of people keep writing about cyber attacks, cyber attacks, kasi nga talaga naman, nowadays ang dami-dami na, na, ano, nahahack, right? Uh, and ano naman, sa pagkaka-review ng mga gadgets, all right, let me see if we, if we can feature something today. Pero, yung tungkol sa jobs muna, intindihin natin, right? Kasi ang dami nagtatanong, tungkol sa trabaho. Uh, there, are, there are top jobs, okay? There are top... Uh, tungkol sa trabaho kasi, no? Yung remote work ay magiging hybrid. Ngayon, a lot of companies around the world are... are practicing hybrid working, which is a few days in the office and a few days at home, okay? At the beginning of, of the pandemic, the massive transition to remote work helped companies and employees worldwide to navigate lockdowns, okay? Talaga naman na-regulate, 
Okay. And though some companies have returned or are planning to return to fully in-person work, not every employee wants to return to the office. Diba? Anin na natin yan? Kayo. Okay ba sa inyo ang remote work? If you were to ask me, sa akin, okay din yung hybrid, no? Because like I said, in America, they've been, we've been doing remote work for many, many years. So, of course, when I was living in the States, I mean, more than 15, 20 years ago, people were already were, uh, allowed to work from home at least once a month. Meron kaming tawag na mental leave yun na pwede ka magpaalam na magtatrabaho ka sa bahay isang araw sa someone for your psychological ano, stability. Pero ngayon, a lot of companies found out that it's actually very, very feasible and workable. It saves them money, okay? And of course, doon naman sa nag-co-commute, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, it saves them the trouble of hours of waiting ng, ng masasakyan and all that, right? Kaya not every employee wants to return to the office. Whether it's due to safety concerns or because people learned about the money benefits of working from home, a recent uh, flex job survey of over 4,600 respondents found that 44% uh, know at least one person who has uh, so, who plans to quit their job kung papabalikin sa opisina. Okay? Uh, yun na nga, pagka... 44% daw, itong base sa survey na ito ng 4,600 respondent, respondents, malaki-laki ha, uh, 44% of them is, are planning to quit their jobs because their company wants them to return to the office. And at the same time naman kasi, pag nasa bahay ka, you know, there are a lot of jobs then online that you can have or do depending on your expertise and skill sets, Okay. Another 29% are actively looking for a new remote job and an additional 17% have quit a job because it didn't offer uh, remote work. Ga, ganun pala, right? Palipat-lipat tong aking cellphone. Anyway, to help seekers connect with the flexible employers, no? Uh, maraming mga job sites like FlexJobs, um, Indeed, uh, job uh, job street okay marami doon na nag-offer ng remote work okay uh, so tingnan lang lang natin i google natin research natin kung ano ano mga company dito sa Philippines yung naghahaya pa ng remote work so, tingnan natin sa mga postings na, natin sa job street because marami 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 sila in america there's 30 companies that are hiring for remote jobs Okay, I, and I will mention them. Number one is United Health Group. Number two is Twilio, CVS Health, Supporting Strategies, EXP Real, Realty, Anthem Incorporated, GitHub, Citizens Bank, Coinbase, Elastic, Alorica, Alorica, oh, yung Alorica meron yung call center dito sa Philippines. So, also, yeah, and obviously, of course, they can hire remote work. They have call center yan, eh, kahit sangka, kahit sangka, Lugar na may internet, pwede ka magtrabaho. No? So, kagaya nito, that's a quiet environment. No? Okay, Alorica, Profit Factory, Planet Group, Verizon. Oh, wow, that's a big uh, telephone um, service provider ng in, um, mobile phone sa America. HubSpot, NTT Group, Happen, oh, Hopin, Pearson, Kap Kaplan, Stride Inc., Achieve Test Prep, Paracel, PRA Health Sciences, Ch uh, Change Healthcare, Jerry Insurance Company, Safe Auto, Tiru, Tiru, Tiruiti, Thermo Fisher Scientific, Cyrocom, and Language Line Solutions. Okay? Yun ang mga career fields and jobs that hire remote workers. Anong, anong industry or field ang nag-hire ng remote workers? Although companies have expanded their views on what work can be done remotely, the top industries na nag-hire ng remote work are as follows. Computers and IT. Of course, number one answer. Medical and health. Pwede rin kasi, di ba? May mga doktor ngayon online ang mga consultations. Pati yung mga kanilang pag-appointment. So, yung secretary nila, pwede nasa bahay rin sila. Education, tsaka training, which is what I do. 
uh, ESL training or corporate training, we do it all online. So that is also one of the lucrative things. O yan ang mga company na nag hire remotely, right? And while you can do a variety of jobs from home, some of the most popular ng remote job titles include, anong mga job titles na ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya ay uh, ma 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 mabili or popular na ma-hire, okay? R, mga accountant, o kaya pwede yung online. Customer service representatives, teachers, online teachers, of course, web developers, writers, and project managers. I think dapat ilagay din dyan yung mga social media managers or social media gurus or social media direct marketers. Ayan, kasali rin yun. So how do you demonstrate your remote work experience? Once you've found remote jobs you're interested in, okay, you'll need to customize your resume, not only to the job, but also demonstrate that you've got the skills for remote work success, okay? Okay, so, mayroon pa ba tayong oras? How do you, sige, kung ikaw nag-a-apply online, how do you demonstrate your remote work experience? Okay, mayroon pa tayong a few minutes. Number one, okay, say, that you have worked remotely, okay? Ayan, number one. Kung, kung ikaw ay naging empleyado na ng, ng work from home before, state that informa information sa resume mo. Ilagay mo na yan, no? You can put it by your job title or next to the company's name. Even hybrid schedules count as remote work. Of course naman, hybrid nga eh, working from home. Some part working at the office. Of course, it's included. So don't exclude it. Here are uh, examples, for example, Director of Marketing. Tapos maglagay ka in bracket, 75% remote work. Para malaman nila, nakapag, nagkaroon ka lang na experience magtrabaho. 75% of the way. Okay. And then, ABC, kunyari, ABC Corporate, uh, o kaya, uh, ito kunyari, nag-ano nag, ka na, sa, sa Google, nag-apply ka. Or yung company mo dati, tapos nagay mo doon, fully remote company, right? Include remote work in the experience section of your resume. You can also weave your virtual workplace, uh, yung buong experience nyo, into the bullet points of your work history, of course, di ba? Kunyari, di ba pagka sa, sa, sa resume nyo, naka-enumerate yung mga, mga, mga accomplishments nyo. So, gawin yung isang bullet. Sabino led a team of five customer service representatives in a completely remote work environment throughout the pandemic and successfully earned an average customer satisfaction satisfaction rating of 94%. So importante yan, no? Nabanggitin yun na nag-remote work na kayo. But if you've never worked before remotely, how do you show you've got the necessary skills? Think about your job your education, or even volunteer work. How much of that did you do remotely as in person versus in person? Okay? Especially during this pandemic. And I see pinyo kung paano mo yung ginawa. Even if you worked in an office, you might have collaborated with team members or clients who were in different time zones. So, yun is counted as remote work experience. Okay? Kung kayo nakikipag-coordinate or virtual secretary kayo or virtual assistant, or in some way or another, you, you you do emails to foreigners and stuff. Counted na rin yun as remote work, right? That is also counted as remote work experience. Okay? Collaborated with colleagues across four time zones to ensure projects were on time and on budget. So, yun ang mo, okay? Number three, mention remote work in your skills or summary of qualification section. There are many skilled employees Need, that need to be successful at remote work. This includes hard skills like online collaboration and communication tools and soft tools, the time management and problem solving. Okay? So, bibigay din nyo yung example ng mga remote relevant na skills nyo nung nagtratrabaho kayo remotely. Okay? Kunyari, lalagay nyo doon sa bullet point ng, ng resume nyo. Proficient with broad project management tools. Tapos na game sa parenthesis kung kan, anong company, Trello Konyare or Jira. Or alternate, alternate, alternately, incorporate nyo ito sa summary ng qualifications nyo sa resume, okay? Lagay nyo rin, independent, adaptable problem solver. Okay. 
All right. So, and with that, I'd like to end this uh, episode. Tungkol yun sa paghahanap ng trabaho remotely or or paano kayo magiging ano to? Uh, viable, okay? Mabenta nitong pag, sa mga naghahanap ng remote workers. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this has been a pleasant uh, day for us all. And maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumama sa atin today. Of course, our dear friend Cynthia Buste, uh, Jake Alcantara, Rizar, um, the Lackup family, si Tita Agnes Arayat, and the kids who are watching there. Uh, maraming maraming salamat. And happy birthday again, Joy Pahati. And when, thank you so much for joining me. Bukas po magmabalik po ang buhay online. Please, please always have faith, hope, and love in your hearts. Okay? With those three things, we can survive and make it into this world, right? Araw-araw ay bagong buhay, bagong pag-asa, at bagong pagmamahal na pwede natin i-share sa lahat. Thank you very much for joining me. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you. Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.